hi this is Rick I just wanted to do a short video on how to make a track dolly uh, this is something I didn't think I was going to need when I first started filmmaking and I recently came up with some new ideas uh, which actually required the use of one of these things so um, I actually went ahead and built one let me just lift it up oh okay this uh, is the finished result uh, basically it's the the standard sort of roller skate design I, I've done some other little sort of documentaries as I went about how to do the bearings um, and how to bolt it all together so I'm, I'm going to put those on after this this is just basically an introduction it was fairly straightforward to make uh, there were no real issues I also used the advice for uh, this is actually seven ply and what I did I used two pieces sandwiched together so it makes it a lot stronger there's absolutely no flexing there whatsoever now for the track uh, I used standard piping this is uh, as you can see that this is standard 32 mil waste pipe uh, I think these come in two meter lengths they're 99 pence each in uh, focus do it all um, and for the to join the two pieces together or, or I mean obviously you can have as many pieces as you want to join them together what I did was I used um, I couldn't buy well I could buy round dowel but it was the wrong size it was either too big or too small the stuff that was too big would need a, a lot of sanding down just to fit in you know to join the pieces together so what I did to work around it was I had some uh, square wood let me zoom in let me zoom in for you so you can see this okay what I had was some square wood like this this is two centimeters square okay and literally what I've done is I've just got packaging tape and wrapped it around the ends like so and when you look when you it, it's just a nice tight fit into the pipe so I can see that there we go and that fits in there like so obviously you join let me zoom out again and you simply join the two pieces to get together just by pressing them in and hey presto you have a single piece what the dolly does is it just sits on the track like so <laughs> this is probably not a good thing um, and it's it's ever so free running I mean you could if I tip these up it would just go as you can see it's um, really 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 efficient and I'll, I'll show you um, these other bits of video that I made as I built it uh, I'm going to show you them now okay when I was researching how to make a track dolly the first thing it said was you need to go out and get yourself some skateboard wheels now frankly I didn't know the first thing about skateboard wheels so I got myself onto eBay had a good look through and found they were quite expensive uh, I was fortunate enough to find some second-hand ones um, these came with bearings as well now the thing is the bearings are quite grotty so what I've done is I've ordered some some brand new bearings um, and I'm going to replace them and I'm going to show you how I'm doing that now and it would appear that the holes in either side or the recesses in either side of the wheels do appear to be a universal size um, a standard size they all they all seem to fit just about right now I've heard people have made these track dollies using um, very very low quality wheels and they've had no problems with them I think you can go into uh, something like Walmart or Asda um, and just pick up a, a, a little kiddies skateboard for five pounds and use the wheels off of that this particular model I'm making requires 16 wheels so you'd need to buy uh, four skateboards um, but there, there's you know where there's a will there's a way there's means around it so <clears throat> let me just zoom in and I'll show you how I rebearing these wheels okay so there's our old wheel it's had the 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 bearings removed I've popped those out I'll show you how to do that in a moment uh, as you can see there's plenty of oil on on the ground here where the uh, from the oil from the, the old bearings and literally got a new new set of bearings um, and we're literally just going to press those in one in one side and one in the other there we go it's that simple 
almost there. This is a, I've got to get the old bearings out of this one again. So we just go in there, just little twists. There you go, out it comes. There is potential here to slip and stab yourself with a screwdriver, so you need to be pretty careful. Okay, so now we have our wheel, and what we need to do is come up with this arrangement, which is uh, put a spindle in it. What I'm using is one of these carriage bolts, which that's a two inch carriage bolt, um, one of these, and a spacer, which you can get from a skateboarding shop. Put your bolt through, place your spacer over, tighten up with a, a bolt so it's just finger tight. There we go, that's what we want. Don't forget a washer, place it on. Let's lift it out so you can see. One, two, now we just need to hold the inside nut in place while we tighten up the other one. It's that simple. It's sorted. That's ready to go. We'll put one on the other side and uh, see what it looks like. I think we should go and get some more track. So that was it, that was my homemade uh, track dolly guide. Hope it was useful to you. Um, if it was, by all means drop me a line or a video response. If you're, um, if you're gonna build one yourself, I'd love to see it, either sort of working or uh, actually making it. That'd be great, just send a, a video response. Um, and that's it, we'll see you next time.